Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we'll take a quick look at how to play the PC-only game Clover Pit on Mac. A big shout out to Jake F, YFK. So as of recording this video, Sikaru Gear is the only way to play Clover Pit on Mac. Sikaru Gear is an app that lets you run PC games and programs on your Mac. For those of you that prefer to use Crossover, for now you'll need to use Crossover Preview, as the game currently does not work with regular Crossover 25. It is safe to assume, however, that as soon as Crossover gets its next public update, Clover Pit should be fully playable. But if you want to play Clover Pit now, here's how. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is install Homebrew. So I'm going to go to my web browser and I'm going to search Homebrew. So we want to click this top link here. The website is brew.sh. Once we're on the Homebrew homepage, we can go down to where it says, if you're on Mac OS, try our new package installer. We're going to click the link right here. So as of recording this video, 4.6.15 is the latest version, but obviously there are going to be updates in the future. So just make sure you're using the latest version of Homebrew. Under assets, I'm going to click Homebrew package to download it. Once the homebrew package is done downloading, we can double click it and we can click continue, continue, and agree. Then we can click install. Once homebrew is done installing, we can click close. Next, we're going to go back to our web browser and I'm going to Google Sika Rugir. So we want this top GitHub link here. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit and it says how to install using Homebrew. And then it gives us this script here. So I'm going to copy it. And we can open Terminal, paste the script, and hit Enter. So once Terminal says Sikaru Gear was successfully installed, we can exit out of Terminal. And if we go to Finder and our Applications folder, we should find an app called Sikaru Gear Creator. So I'm going to double click to open it. So this is where we can make our wrappers, which will pretty much wrap around our PC app and let us open it on a Mac. So the first thing we're going to do is install an engine. So we're going to click the plus here. And I'm going to go to this drop down menu here, and we want to select WS12 Wine Sikaru Gear 10.01. Once we have that selected, we can click download and install. Once we have our engine installed, make sure you have it selected, and then click create new blank wrapper. So we want to give a name to our wrapper. I'm going to be using this one specifically to run Steam. So I'm just going to name it Steam and hit OK. Make sure to give Sikaru Gear plenty of time to create your wrapper. Once the wrapper is done being created, we can click View Wrapper in Finder. So our wrappers are going to be automatically installed to Macintosh HD, Users, your username, mine is Mac Pro Tips, and then the Applications folder, and then the Sikaru Gear folder. So it's important to note that this isn't going to be found in your normal Applications folder. So again, I'm in Finder, I can go up here, I can go to Go, I can go to Computer, Macintosh HD, Users, Mac Pro Tips, and then this Applications folder is where we will find our Sikaru Gear folder, and within that folder is our Steam wrapper. I recommend moving your wrapper somewhere easier to access, like your desktop or your dock. So once we have our wrapper where we want it, we can click it to launch. And the first time we launch our wrapper, we'll get the wrapper's configure window. So this is where we choose what Windows app will launch with our wrapper, what graphics backend we'll use like D3D Metal, DXMT, and DXVK. So again, we're going to use this wrapper for Steam. So we want to install the Windows version of Steam. To do this, we can go to Wine Tricks and click search for packages and then type in Steam. We're going to hit the drop down next to apps. We're going to check Steam and then click run. 
Make sure to give Sikaru Gear a moment to install all of the necessary files to run Steam. Once you get the message, wine tricks commands finished, we should be good to go. So I'm gonna click close. So I'm gonna go to where it says Windows app, and this is where we choose what EXE will be launched when we launch our wrapper. So I'm gonna click browse. I'm gonna go to program files x86. Here's our Steam folder. I'm gonna select steam.exe and click choose. Next, I'm going to select my graphics backend. I want to run this game using D3D Metal, so I'm going to select that. And I think I'm ready to launch Steam. So I'm going to exit out of the configure window. I'm going to go back to my wrapper and click it to launch. Give Sikaru Gear a moment to launch Steam. Once Steam launches, we can log in to our Steam account. Once logged in, I'm going to say hello to Jay Fishin. And then I can go to library and I'm ready to download Clover Pit. Once downloaded, I can click play to play the game.
Let's go gambling. 